Well folks, I've got the back section of the exhaust off. Um, you'll see the, I guess that's the second cat there. Um, but whilst it's out, it gives me more room to access the components underneath, as well as the chassis, um, axles and things. Uh, I've got a new sway bar to put on. So, what started off with me trying to drain the transfer case, it's turned into doing the exhaust because it gives me a bit more room but also I need a tool to get the plugs out of the transfer case because it's um they're quite tightly on and I don't have anything for my impact driver so I'll need to see what's online um, but yeah it shouldn't be an issue I need to get some new, uh, new rubbers for the exhaust but look at this man it's if I hadn't if I hadn't been working on this, this would have just totally rotted away. I can imagine this car would have just been, yeah, I don't know. Could have been the end of it. It's pretty borderline. It, it was it, like, leave this any longer and you're into serious trouble. So, um, ideally, I could replace the whole rear axle because it's, it's pretty crusty. But right now, I'm just going to do my best to clean it up. So this is what happens when you do side hustles. More boxes than there is box holes. It's all a big nothing. What makes you think you're so special? Got a nice new exhaust here, both sections. So I'll be fitting them after I clean up the um, the underside and fix some bits and pieces. All right, I've taken the front seats out. I've already taken the back seats out because I don't really want them. I need space for the dogs. And yeah, I've got these bucket seats that I bought, um, but they've got slightly different mounts. And uh, the seat mounts onto here, 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 and here. And what I'm going to do is basically <laughs> mount that on top of there. Um, but this slides, this, sorry, this slides, so I need to. Um, make a decision if I'm going to just weld this shut so it doesn't slide or just take the top section off this and then just make the seats using that new hole down there and the other thing I have to do is the seats that I've bought they already have an adjuster um, for your back so you can go back and forward um, but these, so these are surplus to requirements. Um, I don't really know how to take this off though, because you see it's kind of got these big ass rivets on each side, and I can't see any simple way to remove these. Um, so, what I'm thinking of doing is just taking off this whole section um, and then still be able to move the seat back and forward using the original uh, handle down there and then I'll do the same on this side just remove it uh, unfortunately it's not a case of just unbolting these um, as I say I'll have a look online and see if there's a way to do it but I think I'm going to have to just cut basically along that line there, remove this rod as well. And that should give me the room that I need to actually uh, fit, fit the seat. And I've removed the pan hard, pan hard, pan hard rod from the back and I have wheel brushed it. But it's not too bad underneath all the muck and grime. I think these wells are still okay. I'm gonna try and maybe clean that up a bit more. Um, and I used some of that rust, rust oleum. No, it's not rust oleum. It's rust remover. So I left it on there, and then paint, uh, then washed it all off with soapy water, and it's all dry. So I'm um, about to start painting it with some hammerite. I don't think. I think that this should be fine. Um, to put back in the car, I uh, just need to, yeah, 
I think that's pretty solid. It just brand new one is quite expensive, so I'm trying to I'm trying to just reuse as many of the parts as, as I can. Um, I think it's fairly solid, so yeah, I'll give it a bit of a paint. All right, folks. So remember, I was telling you this car is very slow. The engine I bought for the conversion is not suitable because it, once they took it out of the scrap yard it wasn't running properly so I've had to try and source another one but whilst I'm waiting for that I've got this um, transfer case gearings to change the ratios in the high and low range and hopefully this should make things a little bit um, just a bit better performance wise and new exhaust as well which i'm going to install so i'll do those two things and see if that makes a bit of a difference i'm still going to do the engine swap but yeah i think this might help this was about 500 pounds this kit so not cheap and it was <laughs> it was listed as one of the ones uh, to be done on a budget some of the other ones were like a thousand pounds um so yeah i've just literally done step one which is disconnect the negative battery Step two, I've done, I've done that too. I've taken off the uh, gear knob and screw there for the uh, transfer case shifter. Um, so now I need to lift up the front end of the vehicle and put it on jack stands. So that's what I'm going to do just now. All right, folks, check this out. Got an engine stand, two ton engine stand. Putting it together just now. It's going to use it for stuff. And uh, yeah, Jim the engine got cancelled because it wasn't working, so I've had to buy another one. Um, but I bought this on an impulse, so putting it together. I've got no room for it, obviously, but yeah, don't care what I did, bought it. Look at this, beautiful. Takes up this whole space that I've got to work with. But uh, yeah, don't care. Two ton. Damn solid wheels, and you can fold up his legs, so I can probably put it in a corner afterwards. Um, yeah, I'm just hiding myself with this so it doesn't work. So I kind of just managed to get it folded up in this corner here, so it can just sit there for just now. I was going to use this to jack up the front of the car, just hoist up the engine, but uh, ended up. With the, with the jacks and then once I had them in there was no room for the legs by the way I bought myself another project car look at this this will be on my second playlist SD200 sounds so good um, got a lot of bits and pieces that I've already ordered for this one but it's got a full stainless exhaust sounds freaking mean there's only 240 of these left on the roads in the UK so getting rare Maybe. Yeah, love it, love it. So that'll be on my other channel, my other playlist soon. Good morning, welcome back to headquarters. We are currently trying to remove the old uh, transfer box. So um, the transfer box has this bracket and bracket over there, which I think I showed you before anyway. So you have to remove this point, at uh, this point, and just above the exhaust there. So I'm replacing the exhaust anyway, so it's actually giving me a bit more room, which is quite good. Um, right now I've got it supported on my transmission stand, and I'm just trying to take off these, which were very, very tight. So I'm just doing one by one, put some WD-40 on it, left it for a bit, and it seems to be not too bad. So. Um, Got these blocks from B&Q so that my vital organs are protected if it falls off the jack stands. But I didn't buy enough. So if I'm at the rear of the car, I will die. I think it should be okay. <laughs> um, famous last words. And um, yeah. So hopefully I can get it out today and begin the process of replacing all the gear. Well, taking it apart will be the first thing, but... Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Cheers. Right, got the four nuts out, bolts out, uh, even, and uh, just had to give the drive shaft a couple of taps with a hammer, a bit more WD-40, 
and came away just giving it supported on the air with a bungee tie thing just to uh, stop it um, hitting off the floor and putting pressure on this CV joint or whatever it's called so next step is do the same sort of thing on the other side um, put a little bit of WD-40 on there uh, free it off and um, hopefully it'll be free to take out after that um, although I'm to try and navigate my way around these uh, supports for the brackets um, but yeah progress all right folks it's out um, bit tricky to get out the mounting bolts on the driver's side uh, it's just accessing it you have to kind of go through the top of the chassis and then try and find these blindly but yeah it's off so I just need to collect all the nuts and bolts put them back loosely where they're supposed to go so I don't lose track of things I'm not sure if I'll reuse them or not but we'll see and um, yeah that might be it for this video I guess the next step will be just to um, well see what work see see if it cleans up and then um, start to take it apart and change the gearing so inside so cheers okay just to finish up for this final episode uh, this final part of this um, episode um, this is the complete uh, transfer box removed and ready for the next step so we've got one of the brackets here put all the bolts back in where they came from um, probably good practice to replace all these when I reinstall it but just keeping them so I know the sizes etc um, yeah transfer boxes here seems seems okay seems like in pretty solid condition I'll clean this up um, after I've done all of the um, replacement of the gears with the kit that I've got here um, so it's from trail gear and I'll go through what the kit includes in the next episode and um, yeah so that's it for this episode and uh, thank you be uh, sure to tune in smash that sub like whatever button and have a nice day